In this video, I will show you how to edit gym TikToks and we'll do a muscle highlight effect. I've been seeing quite a few of these workout videos. And if you also want to know how to do this glowing bar effect or the muscle effect, I just launched a deep dive into my masterclass. The link to join my masterclass is in the description, but now let's jump into it. So I already got this footage imported. And as you can see, he does a really cool workout with the cable machine. The first thing we're gonna do is freeze frame the footage. And we do this by going to the point where his hand is at the highest point maybe something like this, then press Command Shift D on Mac or Control Shift D on Windows. This will split the layers and then you can right click time freeze frame. And this will set a freeze frame keyframe on this point, which basically will make it stop at the right point. As you can see, it will stop. And now I'm gonna add a smooth zoom to this. So I do this by going into layer new, null object, and everything we link to this null object will be scaled. So in this case, I'm also gonna link both of our layers by selecting them and then hitting the parent icon and dragging it to the null. You can also go to this uh, window and then select null. And if we now press S for scale and scale up the null, it will scale all our footage up. Exactly what we want. And now we can also set a keyframe, maybe a bit before, press the stopwatch icon, go a bit further, and then making it zoom. And I'm also gonna use the position. So press P for position, set a keyframe, press U to see our keyframes, and then let's drag this to the front and let's move the null object a bit. So basically the scene is a bit more better composed. Now, if we would play this, as you can see, it's quite harsh. We don't want that, we want it to be smooth. So select all of our keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. This will make it a bit more smooth and we can even add motion blur to this layer. So adding motion blur to both, by going into toggle switches and then pressing the motion blur icon will make it a bit more smoother. And let's just play it now. And as you can see, this is already really cool. We can also maybe adjust these keyframes a bit. So basically zooms in maybe a bit quicker. There we go. That looks really cool. Maybe even select our last keyframes going into the graph editor and then dragging these handles out a bit. So it will basically really smooth down and then dragging the first keyframes more to the front see what this looks like i'm gonna drag them out i think something like this yeah that's really cool as you can see there the camera basically keeps moving so it doesn't really stand still too much and now we're gonna go to the next part which is basically highlighting the muscle and what's even cooler is that we can even move the this effect later on i'm just gonna go to the beginning where basically we see his whole hand make sure your fill is set to red you can also change this color of course but red is always a good color to highlight something and then we can go to the start maybe something like here and then i'm just gonna draw basically around his muscle and the best way to do this is setting points at joints so for example your shoulder and also your elbow and then maybe your hand in this case he has his shirt on but if he was shirtless i would cover this part too we don't have to do that now so i'm just gonna make a selection something like around here make sure that there's a point around his elbow and then maybe at the end and when you click, hold your mouse down so it's a bit rounded and back the same way at the elbow and then also at the last point, drag this out so it's a bit rounded. Something like this, move this. Then I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to this and we can just drag that on our shape layer. Make sure the repeat edge pixels is off and set the blurriness really high to maybe something like 50. And then we're gonna go into toggle switches modes make sure the mode is set to multiply. You can also use some other modes, maybe add or maybe screen. You can just see what works with your footage the best. And then we're gonna open the shape, open the contents and open the shape, then the path, and then we're gonna keyframe the path. And now you can also see our selection. What we can do is basically select one point by dragging your mouse and selecting it, and then we can move it a bit. You can also go into the pen tool to adjust it. But this works great. Now I'm gonna go a bit further because it's probably gonna move. As you can see, it will move. Now the best thing to do now is basically unlink our null object for now. So set these to none because then it's a bit easier to animate this. So we go a bit further. As you can see, it's not covering the image at all. <laughs> so we have to click on the path again and then maybe selecting these two at the bottom. I'm just gonna drag them here. I'm just gonna move them a bit, move this one a bit. Just making sure that the hand or the, the muscle is 
covered as much as possible and it doesn't have to be perfect this goes quite quick and because of our blur on this it also doesn't have to be perfect on the muscle and if we play this now as you can see it will still cover our muscle then it goes a bit further and then he even maybe to something like this there we go he even moves a bit here so then it's even cool if we select our path and then we can just drag over our whole path to cover it a bit something like this maybe the bottom one move them a bit and maybe move this one a bit there we go so as you can see it now covers his whole hand but of course cover the muscle that they're talking about in the voiceover this is perfect now i'm just going to make sure that the shape and the videos are linked to the null and what this will do is the null will basically scale and zoom and change the position it will also change the position of the shape layer as you can see it will move with it which adds to this effect now what i do want to do is set a in point basically hitting alt left bracket which is the key almost next to your enter key and then pressing t for transparency and then basically setting a keyframe for the opacity maybe fading it in so dragging this keyframe out setting the opacity to zero and then when it goes to 100 percent make it go back to zero or maybe we make it go to 80 and then it goes to zero and then as soon as it zooms in I'm gonna do the same thing again. So we can even copy these keyframes over, Command C and Command V, Control C on Windows. And as you can see, it will then highlight it. Maybe I'm gonna drag this out a bit and we can even easy ease these keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard and then maybe doing this again by copying these over and pasting them. This goes a bit too slow. So I'm just gonna delete this middle one and drag these keyframes over to something like this. Perfect. Now I'm going to add a cool line animation to this. So I just hit the pen tool, make sure the fill is set to none. So clicking on the fill and then none, and then the stroke on white. Now I'm going to drag it out like this, and then maybe do something like do something like this, moving this out a bit. I'm going to open the shape layer, open the contents, open the shape, open the path, open the stroke, and then add dashes, maybe setting this to something like 20 stroke to five let's link this to the null too and then let's see where basically the animation starts so around here maybe i'm gonna animate the offset first of all so basically a bit further then i'm just gonna make sure that it, it has some movement then i'm gonna add a trim paths open the trim paths and then animate the end you can just drag this out and then set the end on zero then selecting the keyframes and make sure that they're easy east there we go there we go it's a cool animation then go into the text tool and then we just type here bicep bicep i'll make it a bit smaller make sure that it's like around the line then i'm gonna add the blur and fade in effect press u to see our keyframes and moving this over a bit make sure the rotation is set to zero and let's drag this out a bit this is really cool i really like this except what i don't like is that it doesn't keep animating and we can easily do that by going into our null and going a bit further and maybe scaling it even a bit more and then also scaling it but as you can see the text is not linked to it so we also need to link the text to our null there we go and then i'm just gonna scale it a bit move the position a bit now selecting our scale going into the graph editor and then just make sure that this is set to the same height so basically we'll smooth into it something like this maybe something like this and as you can see we'll basically keep scaling as you will now the position i'm not that happy with it but for the position we can even delete this keyframe and let's make it just one keyframe i also want the line to keep animating so press u and then maybe drag this offset out a bit maybe we have to adjust the offset a bit and let's see what this looks like and that's exactly the effect that we're going for and then you get something like this leave a comment on what you want to see next also don't forget to join my masterclass to see a deep dive of this gym edits don't forget to subscribe and then i'll see you next time bye